Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's sterile here. It's bright and freaking early, man. You know it. It's 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Oh, yeah. Let me say this first of all. Congratulations to the UConn champs, UConn NCAA basketball champions. I'm not a big sports guy, but I love UConn. Okay, enough about that. In this video, I want to talk about a commercial that's in, I guess they call it heavy rotation. I see it. I swear I see this commercial five to ten times a day here in Connecticut. I, I'm assuming it's probably na national, a national push or national campaign on this commercial. I'm going to say the name of the product. I'm not sure what the rules here of monetization, if I could say the name of the product, but I don't see any other way to do this. Hemvana. The Hemvana commercial. You guys have probably seen this. I have a feeling it's it's in heavy rotation around the country. I'm going to tell you why I don't like this commercial, why it gives me anxiety, why it bothers me. Uh, the link to the commercial will be right down below. I, I actually commented on this, this commercial myself. Uh, if you look in the comments, you'll see a couple uh, snide. If you look at the, the video, you'll see a couple of snide comments from me. Uh, okay, this, this product, it reminds me, but I did a video uh, a little while back about Car Shield, the insurance company, uh, the, the extended warranty, the blonde talking about how the country's in trouble and we give you the uh freedom to pick to pick lower prices and the independence and you know it, 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 this this car shield commercial the videos down below i think i got about 2500 views on this uh this video it's the blonde with the blue dress and uh you know she's dropping mega catchphrases everywhere and it, it's it's so obvious you know that they're trying to scoop in the mega money you know the baby boomer money well, that's that's what I see here. All right, let me talk about this. This the, this video is going to be about the Hemp Bonnet commercial. Uh, Chief Air Force Master Sergeant. You know, I'm not a military guy. I don't know if I'm getting this his title right. I, I got a link to him. To, I, I, I looked him up. I'm going to talk about the man, uh, the product, and the commercial, and why I don't like it. Why it gives me anxiety when I watch it. All right. Uh, like I said, this is the Hemp Bonnet commercial, and it's got a bald guy beard, and uh, it's, it's, he's got his shirt. You know, if you got a big gut, you know, if you're two, three, if you're 250, 300 pounds, don't, you know, don't wear a tight shirt tucked into your belt. You know, this guy, he's, he's, he's jouncing around uh, shooting targets, and, you know, bald head in the sun, and his, his gut is just, his big jelly gut is just bouncing around with him as he's shooting targets. Uh, yeah, look, you know, this guy's supposed to, I guess he's a national hero. Like I said, the link will be down below. Uh, Chief Master Sergeant Will Markham. So he's a national hero. All right. Uh, I, I, like I said, I looked up his history. I'm going to talk about the man, the product, and the commercial. Uh, this is the kind of guy, this guy just strikes me as a total MAGA kind of guy. You know, he seems angry right off the bat. In, in this video, he's, he's got, the video opens up and he's sitting at a uh, marksman table, at a, a shooting range table with a big old, I don't know what the gun is. Again, for the people that don't know me, I was raised with guns. My father was a collector. Uh, I was raised, my I, I inherited 30, 40 guns, uh, shotguns, uh, Antonio Zoli over and under, uh, 12 uh, Mossberg Slugger, Remington 20 gauge, a 444 Marlin, uh, 357 Mag. I inherited all these guns. He had me shooting, how to carry them, how to how to clean them, and everything. I, I was raised with guns, but I feel uncomfortable when I watch this commercial. I'm going to tell you guys why. Okay, like I said, so the link is down below. The, the first link will be to my other commercial, to Car Shield commercial, uh, talking about you know mega gullible mega people. Um, Okay, so in this commercial, it opens up, and he's sitting at the table, uh, the Mark's the, the shooting range table, and he talks about how he's, he used tincture, the CBD oil, tincture, and it was so expensive, and it didn't do a damn thing, and he cocks back the big old bolt on the, on the, on the rifle, you know, he's got a rifle, and it's got a clip, it's got the, it's got the clip holder with the extra bullet, so you can see the big old bullet sitting there and everything, you know, and he cocks back, and he, he shoots the, the bottle. Just explodes, man. You know, hey, oh, violence and anger. It's got to be, it's got to be a mega commercial. It's got to be all about, you know, complaining, angry, violence, shooting. Got to be for mega. All right. 
Uh, the product. Now, Chiefs, let me talk, finish talking about Chief Sergeant Will Markham. Supposedly, he was, well, not supposedly, he was in Afghanistan. He, he did a hundred, he, he, apparently he picked forward positions, uh, wiped out 3,500 Afghanis. Uh, rounds landed within 50 to 75 meters of him. Wow. Yeah, so he's a, he's a national hero. Took out 3,500 Afghanistan people, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the product. Let me talk about the product. Personally, I wouldn't use it because I'm in recovery. Now, look, I mean, I know I'm going to get a lot of lectures here. You know, it, you know about there's no there's no uh, active ingredients, no candy, no no active no active THC in it or whatever. You know, and it, it wouldn't come up. I don't I don't know if this tests positive or not. This is my my outlook on this. Um, I, I, you know, I I have. I'm 16 and a half years clean and sober, and it just—I I just won't use it. You know, what, honestly, what pops up in my mind if I get a—if I do get a—if for some reason, if I went for a job or if I for some reason I got in trouble for something and I had to take a urine, and if this actually came up positive, you know, and I spent the last 16 and a half years fighting, you know, my way into recovery and staying clean and sober for the last you know thousands of days. Um, from heroin and, and crack cocaine, and I had this pop up on my on a urinalysis or something, you know, that would just that would kill me. Um, it just it's just something I wouldn't use personally. Okay, so he talks about this cream, and apparently it's got the oil from seeds, uh, hemp seeds. You know, I, what good the oil from hemp seeds does, I don't know. And plus, he says it's mixed with the highest legal amount, and then the this, the the, the uh, police shield pops up, highest legal amount. Of painkiller, so it's got aspirin in it, or something similar. Uh, it's got a whole lot of aspirin, so that means you know probably eats up your your liver, or your kidneys, or whatever. Uh, it's just it's not something I would take. You know, you rub it on. He's just saying it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, and his pain's all gone, and now he can he can go jounce around the shooting range with his big old belly bouncing up and down. Uh, okay, this commercial. So I, I wanted to I wanted to check out this. I, I wanted to see it on YouTube. So I found it on YouTube and I looked at the comments. Okay. I didn't know that this commercial was turned down for the Super Bowl. Right. So I had there's there's there was only about eight comments on the video I found. And none of the people pointed out why, you know, like particularly I know I, I have a good idea why this was turned down for the Super Bowl. But none of the none of the comments even brought up what I thought. I'll get to that in a second. And they said the the comments said, "Oh, what you know, how what what hypocrites?" Because it, it was apparently it was okay for the Daytona 500, which makes total sense to me. Because to me, nobody in the comments. I was the only one that brought up the the subject of the the guns, the guns in the commercial. I'm going to tell you guys why. You know, I was raised with guns, but I'm going to tell you why this bothers me. Um, yeah, so. You know, obviously, the Daytona 500 crowd is a little bit of a different crowd than the national, more national. I love the I love I love car racing more than I love football. I'll be honest with you, but it's a different crowd, you know. And I could see why it wasn't approved for the the Super Bowl. Probably for people like me, it's the the, the commercial itself. Seeing this guy now, I didn't know this guy. I didn't know him from Adam. You know, Chief Will, Chief Master Sergeant Will Markham, National Hero, Silver Star, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's a, to me, he's an angry dude, an angry, overweight MAGA man. That's, to me, you know, and he's just, you know, he's shooting stuff he doesn't like in the, on the shooting range. You know, the, tinks, the tincture bottle. Okay, I'm going to tell you, like, uh, just in Florida, just uh, last week, I think, Ron DeSantis okayed a bill that you don't have to have permits to conceal carry. I'm not sure what the, uh, the, for open carry, you know, it's pretty much in Florida, Texas, anybody could carry a gun. Now, there's been a few times that I've seen people in other states or once a couple times here in Connecticut. I don't know if here because it's, I don't think it's legal here. You have to have permits. It makes me feel uncomfortable like this commercial did. When I see this commercial, all right, it's not the actual guns that make me feel uncomfortable. You know, as soon as I see it, I see this guy jouncing around, you know, bouncing with just, you know, shooting stuff. He's angry. And in my head, I think this is what it is. I picture the bullets. 
the bullets coming out of the gun, impacting, impacting the targets, the wood, the dummies, whatever, whatever the hell he's shooting at. Uh, and then I don't know why, but probably I, I imagine other people are similar. I picture those things hitting the human body, those projectiles, those bullets hit, hitting a human body and what they would do, you know, like in my mind, I, I don't know if, if I just have a vivid imagination or whatever, but I could picture, you know, I picture the wounds those things would leave going in, going out, you know, and I just, in a, you know, I see this guy and he's just more than happy just to, you know, just trigger happy, boom, 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 man, you know, angry. Yeah, it makes me feel uncomfortable. It does. Now, when I'm out in public, I want to talk just a little bit about this open carry. Whenever I see somebody out in public carrying openly, or if I know they're concealed carrying, it scares me. It does, because I don't know this person. Or even in Florida, you don't even need a permit. You don't even need any background checks or anything. So, hey, you know, anybody can carry this, this gun. This is the this is the bottom line. This is what scares me. That this person, I walk into a store and or anywhere out in public where I'm shopping, just doing my daily routine, and now I'm in a closed space where this person has the power of life and death over me instantaneously. A person I don't know, a person who's not registered or not, not checked, his background isn't checked, his mental health isn't checked. You know, just Joe Schmo now has the power of God over me, the power of life and death, the power to take my life, or, or worse, wound me, uh, maim me, turn me into a vegetable. I hate that word. Uh, that scares the hell out of me. Uh, the power of life and death over me. And that's what I, in that commercial, I picture this guy, and he, he's already angry, you know, doesn't do a damn thing. It, it gives me anxiety. It does. And I grew up with guns. I know how guns work. Uh, you know, I know all the safety, you know, how to hold them and all that stuff, how to clean them and everything like that. And this, these, this kind of thing still, seeing these, it, the bottom line is these tools, these weapons, give the person holding them the power, instantaneous power of God, the power of, light, of life and death, like a lightning bolt. You know, it's, so let's just say this guy, say this, a person decides to cut in front of me and I see he's carrying. Would I be less likely to speak up for myself? Hey, you know, get to the back of the line. But I see he's carrying. Would I be less likely to stick up for me personally? I've said this in videos before. I don't know why this is. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I swear to God, when I've seen people out in public carrying before, I have the urge to confront them, to get in their face, to, to taunt them. I swear to you, I've never done it. I swear to God, but I get that's the first instinct I get. I don't know what it's almost uh self-deprecate. Uh I don't want to use the word, the S word. Um this is it though. The power of life and death. This commercial, even though I grew up with guns, it makes me uncomfortable. It's an obvious uh bid to get the mega money. That's what I wanted to talk about too, you know. Uh the the baby boomers, the mega people probably aren't comfortable with any kind of marijuana or CBD oil or whatever. And this is an attempt to bridge that gap. To, to, you know, it's, a, it's an attempt to, to influence them, to, to take their money, really. Like, just same thing with the car, the car shields commercial. You know, it's an obvious attempt to drop keywords and key phrases and make them feel comfortable with their products so they get their money. You know, they're, they're, they're attempting to... to they're, they're basically saying you're gullible. Let me have your money. Buy my product. Here, let me see a few of your keywords and here you go. I, I guess that's common for all uh, commercials and, and stuff like that. But anyway, those are my thoughts on this commercial. Let me know what you guys think. The links will be all down below to my video, the Car Shields commercial, when I talked about the Car Shields commercial. The link to the actual uh, uh, Hemphana commercial will be down below. Uh, the link to the to Will March, Chief Master Sergeant Will Markham and his Silver Star, the military, all the military record will be down below. Have a good Tuesday.